Today, I'm gonna to teach you how you can create these trendy subtitles that you've probably seen on short form content and YouTube videos. The process is quite simple, but will require some creativity from your end. My name is Sebastian and welcome to Awake Broad Media. For those who don't know about us, we're a social media and content marketing agency and we're here to teach you how to create content sustainably, consistently, and grow your personal brand online. Without further ado, let's jump in. Now to create this effect, the first thing that we wanna do is open up our editing software. Now I highly recommend that you use something like Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or Premiere Pro. These are professional grade editing softwares and they're simply the ones that have all the tools that we're gonna need, although it's not many, it's quite simple. Now you can do this on CapCut, but the process is a little bit more complex. There's a few more steps you have to take in order to replicate the same effect. If you want me to create a video for CapCut, leave me a comment down below, and if I get 10 comments, I'll go ahead and make a video for you as well. So let's jump right in. Now, I already opened up DaVinci Resolve. That's the program that I'll be using. And I opened up a timeline that's nine by 16, so it's vertical and it's also in 1080p, so it's gonna be perfect for social media content. I went ahead and started my edit already with the things that are not related to the subtitle. So, so far, what I have here is, well, this is a video of me showing you how to do this, but for short form content, which is the, uh, the inception part of this video. So, um, you know, I have my source clip at the bottom where I'm telling you that what I'm gonna be showing you in this video, I put a few comments of you guys asking me to make this video. And then here's where I want to start this effect. So you see, I, I created like a three layer shot of me editing content. And I wanna have text on top, subtitling what I'm saying. And this isn't something that you can just do your normal way by create subtitles for audio, from audio. That's not what you're gonna be doing this time around. What you actually want to do, the complicated part here, is actually creating the subtitles manually, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects panel on the left here. We're going to look up text plus, and we're going to grab the text um, plus here, and we're going to drag it onto the timeline. I just did it above already, so I'm not going to do that again. And then we're gonna go select our font. So I wanna do Roboto, cause that's one of our brand fonts. And I'm gonna do it bold. The reason why I wanna do it bold is because the thicker the font is, the cooler the effect is gonna look with uh, the background and offset of colors. The next thing I wanna do, I wanna place the text where I'm gonna want it to be. Now this is gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm just gonna go fast forward here. And I'm also gonna create a couple extra layers. One layer per word that I'm gonna be using in this effect. So let's go do that. Let's, let's hear what I say. How I create these subtitles. How I create these subtitles. That's five words, five layers. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna start with the top and type in the word how, which we already have. And then the next one, I, and we'll go down, create. These subtitles. Now you wanna spell check your work to make sure that you're spelling it properly because there's, uh, there's no spell check on these manual subtitles. So how I create these subtitles. Perfect. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is we want to um, make the text a little bit bigger. So the easiest way to do this is just by zooming in. I know you could do it a bit different, but we're gonna do it through zoom in. Go to 2.5 2 we're gonna copy and we're gonna paste the attributes to the rest of the clips boom there we go so now the next step is we want to place the text where we want it to show up 
So by enabling this, um, this transform at the bottom left of your preview window, you can actually enable this window and you can see you can very easily drag the text wherever you want it. So in order to create a more, um, what's the word, uh, dramatic effect, I'm gonna put the text over the line. Okay, so, it's looking good. The next thing we want to do is time it. So to do that, we're going to listen to the track and then we're going to drag the beginning of the text to start exactly when I say the word. How I, so we know how's at the top. I create these subtitles. So we go, how I create these subtitles. Okay, we're almost done guys. Now we go to the layer, we select it, and we wanna go to the settings tab, scroll down, and go to where it says composite. And under composite mode, right now it says normal, and this is where things change. Oops, this is where things change. You wanna click on that and scroll down, until you find difference. Now what difference is gonna do, it's gonna show you the opposite or the difference in the color that you see on the screen. So you can see like when it's dark, it becomes light, when it comes light, it becomes dark, right? And we're gonna do the same for all of these, right? But we're gonna have to go here and go to difference. Let's do difference for all of them, right? There we go. So that's how you create those subtitles. I'm gonna go ahead and finish editing the rest of this video. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And leave me a comment if you have any other questions or you want me to create a tutorial for CapCut. I hope this helped you. I'm Sebastian and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.